Welcome to Behind the Law with Justin Clark, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. As always, I'm here with attorney Justin Clark, and today we're talking about all those tricks that the banks are pulling that could cost you your home. And we're talking about the checks that you're getting from Rust, and these are checks that are part of a government settlement with some of the larger banks that were actually accused by the government of really not doing things right when it came to the foreclosure process. You've heard a lot of shows dealing with some of the shenanigans they were pulling, and so now they're having to pay the piper. In this case, something's come up that's kind of a wrinkle in one of those checks, and Harry from Deltona, you're probably not the only one that's going to have this kind of situation come up. Tell us what's going on. Well, my fiancé received one of these, or my fiancé's ex-husband received one of these checks, and he owes a lot in back child support. He got a, uh, he called her yesterday stating that I want you to sign the check, and then your half he wants to give to child support, and if he doesn't get it that way, he's going to burn the check. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds like a great divorce. Wow. Oh, and yeah, I'm, this and I'm guy just... is a piece of work and... <laughs> drives me nuts. Well, well, I was, what's his I first and last name? In a, I'm just kidding. I'm, yeah, so I'm wondering how many people got divorced during the foreclosure just because of the strain mm-hmm. on their marriage because of a foreclosure that are going to be asking this very same sure. question. But it seems like he is in probably some deep jeopardy here. Well, I, I think it depends on who's on the note. Let me tell you who gets the check. Whoever signed the note, that, that's the person who got screwed over. Okay, So if, if she was on the note with him, the check's going to be in both of their names, and she is absolutely entitled to half of that money, and that should not be considered his the deadbeat dad's child support obligation. Do you, does that make sense? should be a clear difference between the oh, two dads, yeah. right? I don't see how in the world that, that, that has anything to do with child support. She should get half of that, and she should also get every penny in child support that, that she's due. And this is a question we've been seeing a lot because, Rob, I've told you on the show many times— this horrible economy has ruined many relationships, uh, unfortunately, because let's, be, let's face it, I mean, it's, it's challenging and it creates mm-hmm. a lot of strain in relationships. I have so many of my clients who came in as husband and wife who are now going through a divorce or getting divorced. And, you know, I always tell them when, when I sit down, I say, guys, I know times are tough, you know, but, but think back to when, when things were good. I mean, just because you have a little bit less money now, does it really mean you don't love that person for it? You know what I mean? But I understand there, there's going to be challenges and people are going to get divorced. And this is not the first time that, that Harry's question has been posed to me because a lot of these checks are coming in husband and wife's name. They're no longer husband and wife. And, and we're also seeing this in, in a lot of our bankruptcy cases. A lot of our bankruptcy clients who are going through a Chapter 13 bankruptcy right now are getting checks delivered in the mail. So if you're in a bankruptcy and you get, let's say, a tax refund, that bankruptcy trustee comes and gets that money. Ooh. So we're, we're right now trying to figure out if, if, if this money should be going to the bankruptcy court or directly to our client. It's a, it's a question I don't necessarily have the answer for. Well, and you know, there again, it goes back to what we've been talking about for months, Justin, on this very show. And that is, if the couple comes to you early, right when, the, right when things start falling apart on the mortgage or the payments or whatever, get in there to see an attorney and... Don't take it out on your wife or husband or the kids or the dog or the neighbors or your boss or whatever, or your employees, by the way, Mr. Employer out there. Um, You know, let them handle it, and hopefully you can continue with life as normal. Truth is, this thing, this whole thing sucks. I know if you you lose income, it's not fun. I know it's a a challenge. The house portion of it, I kind of have under control at this point, and that seems to be what scares people the most. When people come in and the wife's crying and the husband's halfway in tears himself, I say, guys, relax. Everything's going to be okay. It's not a big deal. We have a lot of ways to fix this problem. You know, it, I can't help you get a new job, but I can help you deal with the house issue. And quite frankly, it's not that big of, I mean, I, I can work it out. There's no reason to be losing sleep. There's no reason to go pack up and move everything out and go rent somewhere. Come in and talk to me. Let's figure out a way to keep this house for you because there are so many programs out there that it is very rare I meet a family that I'm not able to help. It's good if we can do it, get ahead of the game a little bit. I don't necessarily like to meet someone who's been in foreclosure for four years and they have a sale date on Monday morning. It's so much better for you if you can, let's start this process early. I never charge anyone to come talk to me. I'm always happy to meet with people. I meet with virtually every single client that comes into my office for the first time myself, too. 
because I, you know, I just feel like there's no one around here that's done more of these and really touched more of these himself than me. You mm-hmm. know, there's nothing I haven't seen yet. And a lot of times when a new client hires me, by the time they leave, I say, I'm not going, I'm not going to let you hire me unless you swear on your life right now that you are not going to go home and lose sleep one more night because now it's under control. Mm-hmm. And they say, well, all right, all right, Mr. Clark, uh, let, let's do it then. And they feel better. It's like a, a, a elephant just was removed from their shoulders. Well, you're probably on a first-name basis with a lot of people at a lot of these banks <laughs> and saying, hey, we got to talk this out. We're going to take a short break, but before we go, are you struggling to make your mortgage payments? If so, you can save your home with refinancing. Justin Clark has worked with hundreds of refinances. He's saved their homes, and he may be able to do the same for you and save your home, too. Just give the offices of Gregory and Clark a call at 321-282-1055. We'll be right back. Are you working on a short sale? Whether you're short selling or buying, the offices of Gregory and Clark can help you. Just give their office a call at 321-282-1055. They're open right now. We'll be right back. Ask your question live. Tune into FM 96.5 WDBO Sundays at noon and ask Justin your question. Well, Justin, you know, your client signed on the piece of paper there that they're going to pay. Shut up. I don't care, okay? My client did not create this housing bubble. My client did not choose to lose half of their income because it, it, the, the gov- it, the, their, their company can't pay their taxes anymore because of decisions this government's made. I don't have any sympathy for the banks whatsoever. I see banks kick people out of houses all the time for stuff that, that they really didn't do wrong. I've seen banks kick people out of houses who have been paying their mortgage throughout. I've seen banks do modifications for my clients and then make me spend the next year and a half trying to get them to keep their word where they signed on the modification saying that they, my client can start paying their mortgage again, and then they di- just didn't do it. Stay tuned. Justin Clark will be right back with more Behind the Law. Welcome back to Behind the Law, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. Welcome back to another edition of Behind the Law with Justin Clark. We're continuing last week's discussion on problems at the banks that could cost you your home. You can call Justin's office right now at 321-282-1055. This seems to be such a magilla right now. Foreclosure, short sale, modification. Wow, my parents never went through that. My grandparents never went through that. Well, this is a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a totally different economy than your parents grew up with when the time was buy a $40,000 house in 20 years, it'll be worth $100,000. Not anymore. I, I don't really have any sympathy for the banks, as you can imagine, at this point, because let, let's, be, let's be just totally honest here for a minute. They got tons of bailout money. They treat my clients like crap. They made so much money. They were jumping over each other in 2006 to give this money away to people who they couldn't afford these houses. I understand the other side of the argument. Well, Justin, you know, your client signed on the piece of paper there that they were going to pay. Shut up. I don't care, okay? My client did not create this housing bubble. My client did not choose to lose half of their income because their company can't pay their taxes anymore because of decisions this government's made. I don't have any sympathy for the banks whatsoever. I see banks kick people out of houses all the time for stuff that, that they really didn't do wrong. I've seen banks kick people out of houses who have been paying their mortgage throughout. I've seen banks do modifications for my clients, and then make me spend the next year and a half trying to get them to keep their word where they signed on the modification saying that they, my client can start paying their mortgage again, and then they di- just didn't do it. Or I've seen banks do a modification that my client worked on for a year and a half, crying every night, trying to save their house, and then the bank decided to sell the loan the day before it was supposed to be finalized and made my client miserable again. So I don't have any sympathy, if mm-hmm. you can't tell. And if you want to keep your house, there are ways to keep your house. Don't be that stressed out about it. But let's talk sooner rather than later. You know? Well, actually, you know, if they start right at the beginning of a problem, before they get behind, you might be able to get them in the HARP program, but you can't get behind. Right. Well, if you want to do HARP, which, again, is a refinance for underwater homeowners, it's uh, you have to do it when you're current. Okay? You can't be late on your payment. If you are late on your payment, there are so many other options out there as well. We can do HAMP, which is under, it's H-A-M-P, HAMP, Tier 2. You can even do that on secondary homes if you have one that you want to keep. Um, it, it's a great program. They can go all the way down to 2%. I'm seeing 
a significant amount of principal reductions. And, it, and it's a very simple concept. You need to figure out your gross monthly income, which quite frankly is more difficult than it sounds if you're self-employed, you know, because mm, you have to look yeah. at profit and loss statements. And people just don't know how to do that. 31% of your gross monthly income should be your mortgage payment, including escrow, including taxes and insurance. And if you're paying more than that, it's crazy. Let's not. Because you're probably underwater on your house. We know most people are underwater around here on their house. But I don't necessarily care if you're happy living there and we can get your payment to less than you'd be paying rent somewhere else. Screw it. We're, we're just renting the house from ourselves. It's okay. We get the tax deduction. We're happy there. We don't have to move. But I can't stand someone who has a 7% interest rate and they owe 300 grand on their house that's worth 100 and their next door neighbor owes 100 and they're at 2.5%. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? We, we, can't, we can't get killed both ways. Let's make sure we're only getting killed one way. All right, very good. So there are alternatives, and if you want to call in and just kind of state your case, you don't have to say your name. You don't have to tell us who you are. You can make up a name. And then what you do is you go ahead and kind of run over the scenario with Justin for a couple of minutes and let him give you a place to start. But first of all, that place is calling the show right now at 407-297-9696 or toll-free from anywhere at 855-297-9696. Associates are standing by in the office right now with you're listening to the radio or you're watching us on WRDQ TV 27. We've got to take a break, but here's something to think about. Are you working on a short sale? Whether you're short selling or buying, the offices of Gregory and Clark can help you. Just give their office a call at 321-282-1055. They're open right now. We'll be right back. If you're just itching for more behind the law, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Gregory and Clark. And you can call Justin's office at 321-282-1055. Ask your question live. Tune into FM 96.5 WDBO Sundays at noon and ask Justin your question. I've been trying desperately to get a loan modification on it just to get the rate reduced where it becomes a little bit more affordable, either the HARP or the HAMP program. And I'm not behind, but it's struggling every month. Uh, it's pretty much liquidated all my capital and assets to hold on to the property. Are you living in this house or no? Well, I, I, I actually have made, I'm turning it into my primary residence sure. and uh, I filed income tax. Stay tuned. Justin Clark will be right back with more Behind the Law. Welcome back to Behind the Law, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. Welcome back to another edition of Behind the Law with Justin Clark. We're continuing last week's discussion on problems at the banks that could cost you your home. I'm Rob Newton, and alongside me is Justin Clark of Gregory & Clark Attorneys at Law, and we're taking your calls at 407-297-9696 or 855-297-9696. You can call the office anytime at 321 282 1055. Hey, Devin, you're driving on the road. Please be careful. What's going on? Devin, are you with us? Yes. Hello? Go ahead, sir, with your call. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Yeah, go ahead, Devin. How are you? What's your question? Yeah, fine. You're fine. Yeah, I'm uh, in a situation listening to your radio station in, in a, a, a similar situation. I have a property I, that was originally. Uh, uh, a secondary resident uh, out of state, and I'm paying a uh, uh, almost a seven percent interest uh, rate. Right. And I've been trying desperately to get a loan modification on it, just to get the rate reduced where it becomes a little bit more affordable, either the HARP or the HAMP program. And I'm not behind, but it's struggling every month. Uh, it's pretty much liquidated all my capital and assets to hold on to the property. Are you living in this house or no? Well, I, I, I actually have made, I'm turning it into my primary residence. Sure. And uh, I filed income tax in the state purposely to make it for my primary residence because it does have uh, some capital gains or it has growth in the property. It does have, I'm not upside down in the property. Yeah. It has equity in the property. And uh, the problem is that uh, I'm self employed. And I'm underemployed. Uh, you know, our income is my income has drastically changed over this economy, right. and uh, I can't qualify for refinance because of uh, income-wise, my ratios are out of whack. But sure. again, I'm 
uh, not behind. Uh, it's choke and eat. And uh, what I've elected to do is it's... change my residency to make that my primary residency with the thought, and I don't know if it's correct or not, that the two out of five years living in a suit or owning it for more than five years and occupying it for it's... two out of the five years, that if I'm forced to sell it, that they won't do a modification, that I won't. Uh, get hit with big capital sure. gains, but I don't want to sell it. I want to keep it, and they just refuse to, uh, uh, after going through all the different programs that sure. are offered out there to neighborhood centers. And, it's, uh, it's the old problem, Devin. It's the old problem of being self-employed. You don't want to pay taxes, but we want to show we have enough money to get mortgages, too. So it, it, it's a problem that really everyone that's self-employed deals with. But you know, in your case, normally I would say just get a regular mortgage because you're not underwater, but seems like you don't have the income right now to support a new mortgage. So as far as I'm concerned, you have two options. One is try to do a loan modification, and it would help if you live in the property, but it's not a requirement. So we can always try to do a loan mod. Or, or the second option is you need to have someone co-sign uh, on the new mortgage just through a traditional refinance program and, and, and try to save it that way. I mean, and of course, you are in pretty good shape because you could always just sell the house too and, and pocket the change, and, and uh, I appreciate the call. We're going to take another break, but if you're having any legal problems that could cost you your home, remember that the offices of Gregory & Clark are your one-stop shop for saving that home. Short sales, closings, bankruptcy, refinancing, all under one roof. Give them a call right now, 321-282-1055. We'll be right back. Hey, we've got to take a short break, but if you can't contain yourself waiting for more Behind the Law, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Gregory and Clark, where you can see past episodes, and you can call Justin's office at 321-282-1055. I've been late uh, for one month, one time, for two months, one time, but I'm unable to get a modification. Uh, I've been unable to get a refinance because it shows the two times that I was uh, missed my payment. I've now caught everything up and the uh, payments are current, but I don't have income or, or substantial income for the home. I bought a home that was a um, uh, sell, sold to me by the bank, so I had a lot of equity when I purchased it. Stay tuned. Justin Clark will be right back with more Behind the Law. Welcome back to Behind the Law, the show that takes you behind the law and answers your toughest legal questions. Hi there. Welcome back to another edition of Behind the Law. As always, I'm here with attorney Justin Clark, and today we're talking about all those tricks that the banks are pulling that could cost you your home. You can call Justin's office right now at 321-282-1055. Pat, what is your question for attorney Justin Clark? Hi, Mr. Clark. I have somewhat, like the previous caller, a re total reduction in my income. My home is has only had been, I've been late uh, for one month, one time, for two months, one time. But I'm unable to get a modification. Uh, I've been unable to get a refinance because it shows the two times that I was uh, missed my payment. I've now caught everything up in the... Uh, payments are current, but I don't have income or, or substantial income for the home. I bought a home that was a um, uh, sell, sold to me by the bank, so I had a lot of equity when I purchased it. But since the downturn, I'm now five to ten thousand um, dollars. What is the interest rate, Pat? What's the interest rate? Percent. Okay. Six percent. Yeah, it's... And all I'm asking is someone reduce that interest rate so the payment could be reasonable enough sure. that I could afford it. It sounds like you're, uh, you're, you're house poor right now, and how, being house poor is dangerous. You know mm -hmm. what I mean, Rob? Because mm -hmm. you can't, you can't, it, it doesn't do any good to have a roof over your head if you can't feed yourself, is the way I see it. So we need to try to make that payment less. And I know that they can go down to 2%, okay? If you can get it down from 6% to 2%, you're going to be freeing up a lot of money monthly to, to afford your other bills. Well, what's your gross monthly income? Any idea? Somewhere around two. Okay. Well, you, you need to get in and see me more than likely. 321 282 1055. And let's go through all of your income and let's figure out what the best solution is for you because I, I need you to get that payment lowered at 6%. You, it's going to be a struggle right now for you, Pat. So let's, let's see what we can do, okay? 
Okay, Pat, thank you so much. Let's go to Sherry in Lake County. Sherry, we have two and a half minutes to spend together. Let's use it wisely. Hi there. Go Sherry. ahead. Hi, yes. Um, I'm in the midst of a foreclosure, I actually at the end of it. Um, the mortgage company has set a trial date for one month from now. Um, we've been trying to get this loan modification for going on four years. It, it's a nightmare. You talking about frustrated? Yeah. <laughs> and my attorney, I hired an attorney. I don't even want. I don't know if I should say who they are. Um, um, pretty well known attorneys, and they've held them off yeah. for all this time, but they, they haven't done anything either. You know. Right. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing for you, if you want to keep your house, is we really need to focus on getting that loan modification accomplished. I don't know if you've had a mediation already. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the law firm that you're talking about. I feel like I, I was really the first guy to do this kind of work around here, but uh, mm-hmm. some other firms popped up and wanted to get really big. I like to really talk to my clients, Rob, and get to know my clients, you know. But we need to focus on a loan modification. You're going to have a trial coming up, and at the trial, there are two things that are going to happen. You can fight them on it. You very well might lose, and they might set a 30-day sale date. If you agree to the judgment, in all likelihood, the judge will give you another 120 days uh, to figure something out, I'm happy to help you to 321-282-1055. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Behind the Law with Justin Clark. If you still have any questions, don't wait for next week's show. Just give the offices of Gregory and Clark a call right now at 321-282-1055. They've got the answers. And don't forget to tune in next week for our continued discussion on problems with the banks right here on TV 27. Thank you for watching Behind the Law with Justin Clark. Be sure to join us again next week as Justin takes you behind the law and answers your legal questions.